How do drivetrains work? Let's talk about it. A drivetrain is the collection of components that function together to make your bike move and shift. Bike drivetrains have a crank arm that's powered by your legs. This drives the chain around your front chain rings and back to the cogs that turn your back wheel. You have different cogs for different gearing ratios. This is where your derailleurs come in handy. Typical bikes have two derailleurs, one in the front and one in the back. These are controlled by your shifters that pull and release cable, allowing you to shift into different gears for altering terrain. When a bike is referred to as 9, 10, or 11 speed, that's referring to how many cogs are on the cassette. And that determines what size chain you need to use for your drivetrain. The more speeds your bike has, the more cogs that need to fit on your rear hub. More speeds require more cogs. And that means that the chain has to be skinnier to jump between cogs smoothly. Less speeds require less cogs means that you have more spacing in between your cogs and that way you can have a thicker chain to make those jumps. Drivetrains are also referred to in a more specific way which count the number of cogs in the front and rear. For example, a 3x9 bike has 27 speeds, a 2x9 has 18 speeds, a 2x8 16 speeds, and a 1x11 has, you guessed it, 11 speeds. You can also change out the size of your cassette to change your gearing ratios. For example, this is an 11 to 25 tooth, 11 speed cassette. And this is an 11 to 34 tooth, 11 speed cassette. This is also where you can run into issues. Your rear derailleur is only made to handle a certain tooth count on the high end. So if you put on a cassette that has a 40 tooth cog, but your rear derailleur can only handle a 36 tooth, you're gonna run into some big issues with your rear derailleur. From improper chain tension, to not being able to reach all your gears, to just overall poor shifting. If you're curious, you can always Google the specifications of your derailleur and it will tell you what it can handle. Or stop by your local West Point Cycles today and we can explore what upgrades we can make to your drivetrain to make it even better. This has been a West Pointer. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, give this video a like and follow us for more bike-related content. Happy riding.